Hi there, I'm back and um, <clears throat> wanted to go over and uh, weigh everything that I got. And um, what I did is I bought the Madness box. And uh, it's mainly just me, but I got it this week because my eight-year-old grandson's going to be here. And I'm like, okay, you know, it should last a little bit longer, but I also like to freeze stuff after, you know, leftovers and stuff like that. So we'll go with the bigger box. And I already did the video with taking everything out, but now we're going to go ahead and start weighing everything. And um, I just want to see, because according to the website, this is supposed to be approximately 18 to 20 pounds of mixed fruits and vegetables. So we're going to start with the vegetables first. Let's get the scale on here. I'm not sure. Yeah, there you go. You can see that. And tear it. Word zero is there. So these are the uh, the two pack of garden scape of uh, garlic scapes. And the scapes weigh 4.9 ounces. Okay, put those over here. And uh, let's see. The russet potatoes were zeroed out. nine russet potatoes and they are two pounds 13.4 ounces set those back aside here Okay, let's see. Yellow onions. We're zero dot. So here's five of them. And uh, that's 11.2 ounces. But there's this other one here. And if you look at it, it's got mold on it. It's mushy. So that don't even count. That's, that just went into the uh, trash can. So we're going to go with 11.2 ounces on the yellow onions. Whoops, whoop, I'm going to start an avalanche here. Okay, green peppers. Remember I said we have one that was broken. And it's questionable on whether that should even count towards the total weight, but I'll add it in. Let me make sure I didn't lose one back there. Okay. So that's five bell peppers. They weigh one pound, 9.8 ounces. get this out of the way I'm trying to have some sort of a order to this it's, it's not working Houston we have a problem here because ideally this will set out afterwards and it'll look nice the hopes I can't help it I got to eat a piece of this pepper it's open what can I say? Mmm. That is good. Okay. We got a ton of broccoli here. Nice little heads, though. Mmm. I guess I should add in when it comes to the vegetables and the fruits. A lot of it is used fresh around here, or it goes right into the freezer when it's stuff that's in season because uh, even when my grandson is here 
or when he's not here, I also feed this to my birds because I have large macaws, just a couple. But uh, so three, six, seven, eight. Looks like um, looks like um, eight crowns of broccoli. That's a lot of broccoli. Totaling two pounds, eight point two ounces. So two pounds, eight point two ounces. Okay. It stop. I'm dropping stuff here. Broccoli does look nice though. Okay, we're still zeroed out. Uh, these are the peas. And Gage has already tried one. And he was liking it, but then I'm finding most of them on the floor. But I've never taught him how to shell peas before. And since I was recording, I didn't spend much time other than splitting it open and showing them to pull one out. So I'll take the blame for that. Okay, there's one bag of them. The texture on these bags is really interesting. And I know it's biodegradable. Like all their packaging, um, like they say all their packaging is. And I actually just threw that in the trash, so I gotta pull it back out. And we'll put that out for recycling. It's just really weird. If you got text, uh, texture issues with holding things, that might bother you. It's, it's, the texture on it's weird. I don't have texture issues, but it is just because I'm noticing it. This makes it weirder. And I said that in the actual unboxing video too, so. But weird for me is not a bad thing. Get the rest of these on here. Okay, so for the peas, and I'll open that up. Um, one pound, 4.4 ounces. Okay, now I don't want to get a big one here. Oh, here's a nice little one. Now you can see these. Pea opening is not my forte, but there you go. So, and they look good. They get, oh, they got such a beautiful texture to them. Mm. Yes, I am eating those. I don't have the bird in, birds in the kitchen with me, and I won't. Ah! I'm trying to move stuff around. Hmm. Okay, you know what, I'm just going to leave those in there. We'll tear it again. Okay. And on kale, let me move this over a bit. Re-tear that out. No, what are you doing? There we go. The two bunches of kale. Now, hopefully I'll be able to do this so we can see it still. That is the test. Okay, the two bunches of kale total 1.24 pounds. And let me readjust this on here and make sure that we're coming up you know right around the same weight okay uh, right there it's coming up a little bit lighter but I have the stocks that are hitting the table here so we'll we'll go with the uh, 1.24 pounds because there's no other way I can get this up on here for a more accurate measure. Let's see. Oh, 
Daggone it. Okay, I knocked it over to a different unit of measure there. Okay. What are you doing? Okay, so we'll put the kale there. And then we have these, uh, I guess they're turnips. Let me tear that again. They're a turnip, if anybody knows differently. And there's four of these. And they weigh 1.6 pounds. Okay. Slide those in there. How's that? Okay, let's see. <coughs> we have this other lettuce here, which I've consistently heard in um, other uh, reviews that lettuces go pretty quick, so you want to get them used up. And I can definitely see that. You can see that right there. Let's get that weight on there. 1.4 pounds even. Oops. Okay. Move this up here. Carrot. Okay, what are we going to do now? Cucumbers. We got the two cucumbers. One point four four pounds. are getting in my way here. Okay, we got five pairs. So let's see. And then all the pairs look pretty good. Okay, so in pairs, we got 3.05 pounds. Wait a second. We're falling off there. That's good enough for me. The apples. Four apples. And like I said, this one, this one's pretty bruised up there and right there. So, and this one's, this one's got quite a bit of bruising on it. And yeah, let me make sure I don't have another one floating around here. Nope, that was it, the, the four apples, and I don't know, are those um, gala apples, or, oh, I can't think of the other name for them, but anyway, apples, 1.33 pounds, And then last but not least, we had these little mangoes. Uh, doesn't have a specific name label on it, but I think I saw these on their website for stuff that was coming out. 
but I have never seen a mango this small before. Um, the mangoes, this one here is, it is starting to soften up, but uh, not to the point where it's overripe or anything like that, but you can definitely tell it's, it's, it's days are coming. And, um, well, I don't know, I'm thinking some sort of a mango salsa. Okay, so the uh, mangoes, 1.87 pounds. Okay, and I covered up something here that I want to go and pull out. Okay, because they included that recipe for gazpacho. And I want to see if the ingredients on this recipe are anything like uh, that they sent me. Okay, let's see. Ingredients. The bread, the olive oil, two pounds of tomatoes, three cucumbers, one pound green peppers, four ounces of onions, six garlic cloves, more olive oil, tomato juice, sherry. Okay. Um, of, the, of the fresh produce that's needed, there's no tomatoes. And I, I got to tell you, that is, I was a little, little disappointed at not seeing any tomatoes here. I mean, by no means does this look bad. Let me uh, pull this out a little bit. There you go. You can see all of it right there. Oh, let me add the scapes on here. I'm going to put the scapes in there. And that'll be, that'll be a, uh, a photo finish picture there, maybe. So, um, how did I feel about uh, what I spent on this? I got the 20, 25% off the first purchase, and then I also dug up another coupon for, um, uh, I don't remember what it was, but after that was taken off and you added in the shipping, the $4.50 shipping, I paid $30 for all of this produce, and, um, The condition of it and being organic and everything, I don't think um, I don't think thirty dollars is too bad on it. Um, but I was, you know, a bit disheartened that it's not very colorful. You know, yes, I got a fly in there. Um, I would have expected some carrots. Or some tomatoes, it, you know, especially this time of year. I mean, that's that's so basic. So, um, you know, I, I think that you know some of some of the uh, disappointment on the color is because I didn't get any carrots or uh, tomatoes in there. Um, you know, tomatoes would have been nice to add to the salad. I'm not sure what all I'm going to make with this. Um, being that Gage is here, you know, I will be doing more cooking with him here. You know, and, and my birds, they don't care what they get. As long as, as, long as um, they have me slaving over, the, over a knife and cutting board, cutting it up for them, uh, they don't really seem to care. So they'll be happy. Um, overall, initial impression, I would have liked more color. You know, maybe a couple oranges in there or a grapefruit would have been nice. And... Um, you know, just not just not that much variety. Um, I may for the for, I do think I'll do another box. I'm not going to judge just on one. Um, I'm probably going to go with the smaller box because uh, uh, my grandson will be gone by then. So I'll probably just go with the smaller box and give my impression on that. And then um, whether or not I continue to use it, I'll I'll, I'll make a decision then. You know, um, I am, I'm pretty much a shut-in uh, due to um, CPTSD. So this may be something that will be much more beneficial to me in the, uh, in the wintertime than in the summertime because um, I do force myself to get out and hit up produce stands so I could stock my freezers up for stuff that, you know, I eat over the winter and that I feed the birds. But I... Uh, even when you do that, you still can't beat having fresh stuff, you know. So, you know, this this may be uh, something that I'll want to do more in the wintertime. Look at this. Some of these came in with the box. 
Um, another thing about the uh, shipping, and I, I mentioned this in the initial video, is that when I opened the box, the uh, ice packs were right on top, and you could, and it's all visible there. Um, completely melted. There was heat. Even even once I lifted some of the um, the uh, green off, you know, the lettuce and the, the kale, you could feel the heat coming out of the center of the box. And uh, unfortunately, my um, t my temperature gun uh, uh, needed a new battery, so I couldn't record a temperature on it. My house is 74 degrees right now, and I could feel the heat coming out of the box. So, you know, what temperature does that make the inside of the box? It got shipped out Monday. It left the factory. Um, I, think they, I think it was picked up from the factory. It was either late morning, early afternoon, and it got here at 4.55 p.m., same time zone, um, today, Wednesday. So, I don't know, not enough ice in the package, too much, uh, well, definitely not too much ice, but um, the ice packs being right on top, probably not the good choice for that. You know, one, one on top, I think it would have been better served if, uh, all, you know, all the roots and the, the hard stuff was on the uh, bottom and then, you know, put some of the other uh, produce and stuff in there with an ice pack, you know, around an ice pack or two, put the uh, kale and the lettuces in there and then another ice pack. So their uh, packaging, yeah, they need, they need to work on that a bit. But um, again, still overall, really not all that bad. So, but uh, now I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to make with all of this. What meals I'll be making for the, uh, the uh, household humans. And uh, yeah, I'll probably post a little video about that because some will get grilled. Um, maybe I'll find an interesting recipe with all these pears and mangoes besides a mango salsa. And um, I'll figure out something to put in the smoker. And um, we'll see uh, what comes out of it. So this, um, I think this officially ends my first ever unboxing video. I've done uh, many of the other food services trying them out. Um, what, Home Chef? Uh, oh, what are all the other ones called? Well, you know, you know them all. I, I can pull off recipes the recipe cards I got with them, uh, Butcher's Box, uh, a bunch of those things, and um, I've had some dissatisfied thoughts on some of the other, on some of those that uh, were more recipe related, not food related. This one is, um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be interesting.